Good morning. <clears throat> Welcome in person and online to Trinity Episcopal Church on the last Sunday in Pentecost, which means the next Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent when uh, uh, another a priest will be here, I forget who, uh, Father Brian actually. Um, Advent, we had a priest years ago who told us that Advent was kind of sort of a penitential season, not quite like Lent, but similar to it, as if living in Wisconsin wasn't penance enough. Uh, but <clears throat> there is, in the back, um, a stewardship letter and envelopes, and we uh, first start with uh, passing them out here so that uh, people can pick them up, take them with them, fill them out, and bring them back um, in two weeks, December 4th because uh, we are in the process, the vestry is in the process of figuring out the uh, budget for 2023 uh, and so on. Um, there is also, hang on one second. Huh? Oh, there is also a copy of, that's right, there's also in the back the cop, a copy of the uh, directory that uh, we just, Put out in the last week or so. Um, feel free to take that. Um, we're going to have, or actually in two Sundays, we're going to have a potluck here uh, with the first um, December Mass, second Sunday of Advent, and the theme of that is going to be cleaning up the Cunningham Center, um, so uh, there's a note about that. The week after that, Sunday the 11th, is the um, annual Platteville Chorale concert in here, um, which is a really cool event. That'll be uh, Sunday the 11th at 3 o'clock. Um, and also, um, Christmas Eve will be Saturday the 24th. We'll have Mass here at 4.30. There are other, uh, there are other announcements in the uh, bulletin for the rest of December. So with all that, let us worship God together, beginning with hymn Us pray. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well beloved Son, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed 
and brought together under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. First reading from Jeremiah. O to the shepherd who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to, to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will be, bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as a king and dear wisely, and shall execute uh, justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called, the Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thank you, um, we will read by the whole verse, beginning and ending with the response. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. That he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He this was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. We are worshiping all the All hates are you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the Lord. The second reading is from the first chapter of Colossians, beginning with verse 11. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, <coughs> while gratefully giving thanks to the Father, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself 
is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is be the beginning, the firstborn from the dead so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In 691, Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by, watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. He is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanging there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him saying, do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. <clears throat> Let us pray. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, plant from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people today are Form 5, found on page 389. Page 389, Form 5. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the holy church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord for Michael Curry, our presiding bishop, for Jeff Lee, our own bishop, for all bishops and other ministers, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord. For, for all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and that all may be one as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who do not yet believe and for those who have lost their faith, that they may receive the light of the gospel, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have For the peace of the world, the spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord For those in positions of public trust, especially Joseph Biden, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord for all who live and work in this community, especially, we pray for Teddy, Randy, Mary, Ogdeline, Matthew, Steve, Faye, Scott, Peggy, Bill, Bob, Abby, Catherine, Carolyn, David, Wes, Betty, Rich, Doris, Linda, Naomi, June, and Evan, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord for the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord for this congregation, for those who are present and for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord have mercy. For all who have commended themselves to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health, we pray to you, O Lord. For the Anglican cycle of prayer and the Church of the Province of the Indian Ocean, for the diocesan cycle of prayer 
Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, we pray for the people of Christ Church in Whitefish Bay, that God may be glorified by their worship and made known as they joyfully welcome all people, that they may embody Christ's love in works of justice, service, and mercy, that they may continue to nurture children in the knowledge and love of God, and that they may provide a place for the people of the North Shore of Milwaukee to address today's concerns in the rich body of Christian tradition, we pray to you, O Lord. For all who have died in the communion of your church and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord Rejoicing in the fellowship of the ever-blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To, to you, you, O Lord, Lord, our Lord our God. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hymn 533. Us pray. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the Holy Spirit, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <clears throat>